Well, hello there. Um, it is me, your host, MC Warhammer. You can't range to touch this. Um, rolling a new character to do um, a solo achievement kind of speed run. Um, and I'm creating a new um, ranger. Um, you could call him a power ranger. So just to show that it's a genuine role, um, I, I spent a few minutes getting some really, really nice stats for my character. Um, so the only thing I don't have at you know, 18, which would, would have been quite handy, is, is the charisma. Um, I'm not worried about the wisdom because there are books in the game where I can, I can boost that by a couple of points. Um, and I won't actually probably get spells that, that would, you know, a high wisdom would, would give me boosts for anyway. So um, I'm more kind of concerned about these stats here. And the charisma um, is good for getting discounts in stores. So we will continue on. I'm using my usual portrait. And what I am going to do is I am going to pick the most common um, magical sword magical weapon melee weapon in the game and pop my stats to maximum in that and um, because rangers come with uh, two points in the two weapon style i will pump that up to maximum and put my final point to make sure that i can um, use ranged weapons so unlike um the going mostly solos um video series that that i've uh, been doing over the last couple of weeks um this one is going to be totally solo to try and get the achievement. Um, which I didn't get because I took people on and then kicked them out of the party. Um, and I kept Imuan for a little bit too long to you know, qualify for the achievement. So we are going to try and, well, hopefully get the achievement. And I'm just really going to be concentrating on the main story quests. So there won't be any um, explicit um, uh, XP farming going on. Um, I'm just going to try and concentrate as much as I can on the, um, the, the main quests. And I will do side quests of opportunity as I go off and, and get some of the nice items that have been left around for you to be discovered in, in the game. So... I'm going to put Giant Spider as my um, racial enemy, um, just to make the Cloakwood sections just a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, not terribly worried about the appearance, but I like purple. So, and let's have a shiny um, minor colour. We'll just keep the normal default. And because I am... Um, you know, I'm a bit of an archer. I've done a bit of kendo. I, I, this is, this, this is me as I would like to have imagined myself, you know, 25 years ago. Uh, so there we go. There we are. I'm going to play on normal because why make things more difficult for yourself? And we'll just skip all the cutscenes because you've probably seen all of those. So I'm not going to need that. I've got a nice chunk of cash. Uh, let's get properly equipped. Not a problem. And we will bash our way into the little places that will allow me to just scum a bit more money. And there's a a potion that I really want uh, in one of the little chests of drawers down here. So, uh, that Hulk smash. It's only worth a few gold pieces, but you know, never mind. Okay, so that potion of clarity will be very, very handy for when I come to uh, fight. Uh, tarnish a little bit later 
Now, I'm almost certain that I won't be able to bash my way in here, because if I wasn't able to do it with a... with a 19 strength Barbarian, uh, without raging him, then I'm not going to do it with, ease. with less than 19 strength. So, would have been oh, nice to have had the... Um, the, the Star Sapphire, but uh, this will have to do for now. Okay, so I shall uh, see what, how much money I've got to play with. So I want two of them. I am just going to make do with studded leather for now. Even though I can afford the splint mail. There's not much point me um, picking that up. Um, because I can grab rather better in not too distant a future. Uh, and yeah, I'll have the composite longbow. And I will get a few arrows as well. Though not too many. And whatever money I, I pick up on the way round will, will, will do. I'm going to take this quest but not hand it in. Hard to find. Decent folk nowadays. Just because I want the... Uh, I want to be able to sell the uh, Identify Scroll. Will be done. Um, and let's get ourselves equipped. Uh, no, that doesn't go in there. That's what I wanted. So I could be walking out with a, a much better armor class than I have, but yeah, to hell with it. Uh, I hang on. I will just go and grab the um, potion of healing from the priest of Ogma. And while I'm on my way, I might as well swing round to the barrel and here to um, pick up the cash from whoever's been hiding gold in barrels. Okay. Alright. Our rules are very strict. Yep, I'll just get you out of the way and not do that. And I will have a chat Not with a the problem. priest. These walls contain the world's yeah. knowledge. Thank you very much. I will take that. And actually, Not while I'm at it, I might as well grab the... Hull's longsword and the uh, antidote. Even though I'm not going to do the quests. It's always good to have a reserve sword. And... Not a problem. Antidote is always good. So... Let's have that there, that there, that there. And... Yeah, Candle Keep is boring, so let's get out of here. As quickly as possible. Hey, yeah, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Yeah, no, I don't have time to waste on you today. Maybe I'll see you later. Maybe you will. And I'll tell you to sod off then as well. Uh, okay. So I think that's everything I'm going to need for my initial stage of this journey. So we will be seeing Candlekeep later. So let's oh, let, let's eyes. just I'm get out of here. Glad I have found you. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the friendly arm inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Oh. 
Okay, so unfortunately we can't skip the cutscene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course it is. It's me, Emmerwin. Mm, yeah, go away. So you can't get rid of her um, initially, but that's that's okay because I want to steal her stuffs, and then I will get rid of her. Um, I'll have to confirm this with the guys at Bean Dog actually. Um, how long it's actually possible to keep her in the party? Um, before it invalidates the solo um, achievement because I, I haven't actually read anything on it so l let's get rid of her now see you later I don't need to take you to uh, uh, the friendly arm because I ought to have enough hit points to sort That's out Tarnish bye bye see you in Baldur's Gate 2 and I'm not re gonna really be exploring the map um, the, the only things that I, I will be um, kind of going off mission for are to really find kind of magical items that I can either use or sell. So, okay, turn the ground clutter on. Money, money, money. Always good. I'll take that. I'll take that. And the rest is garbage. So, yeah, there we are. Blah, 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 blah. Exposition, exposition. I will keep him in reserve. Because I'm not going to need that yet. And let's see if there are any gibblings on the way out. And let's go and see Elminster on the lion's way. Right, so anyone who watched my um, going mostly solo video <coughs> will have been acquainted with uh, Harrison, my thief, oh, there, who couldn't hit a barn door. Uh, hmm, yeah, how do you... Yeah. Okay, see you later. I know who you are, Elminster. I saw an interesting video on... Um, on the kind of like the community page for BGEE on Steam where a guy has imported a kind of like a, a, a some kind of really hideous demon um, to act as his player character and he just essentially wipes the floor with Elminster and when Elminster dies he kind of like casts he summons a cow to drop up on your head. It's like it's very bizarre. Aha! Well there's there's progress. Harrison would never have been able to do that. Okay. So friendly arm. Yes, yes, yes. First order of business is to get the ever memory. There we go. Now, obviously, I can't use it. And let's have just have a quick check. Yeah. So, I will have to talk to Khalid and Jahira at some point in the very near future. So, it's maybe worth 
uh, doing it now, getting it out of the way, and I will quick save just to see how uh, we do against the wonderful Tarnash. So, with a bit of luck, and I really should really stop using that phrase, um, we ought to be able to sort him out without too many issues. I'm just going to try and find as many um, little guards, and we'll sort out identifying everything at the Temple of Wisdom in a second. Okay. Come on then. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm not your friend, you muppet. Yeah, um, yeah, good luck with that. Oh, yeah, I better pop that potion. Good, so I'm mind shielded now, so. Yeah, that horror's not going to work. F fucking hell. Come on, kill him. Okay, that that was a little bit closer than I had intended, but okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. We can we can just have a, a little bit of a nap in uh, you are welcome here. in the friendly arm. Can you identify this lovely ring for me? And that belt. Uh, and that will do, because I'm out of money. Not a problem. But not, not for long. Problem. Not a problem. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sad such as yourself. And who's your uncle? Yeah, I know him. I killed him in the last game. We will see. We may bump into him later. Um, especially if I want to get, um, a nice, lovely, um, nymph cloak. Right. It's been dreadful, slow business. What have you got for me, mate? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can give me a nice chunk of money for all of this good stuff. Um, I don't need that. Don't need that. All that. Excellent. I'm rich. Unfortunately, there's not really too much in here that I want to spend it on. Um, actually, there's nothing I want to spend it on. I will keep that for now. Because uh, you never know. My inn is open to all who behave Let's themselves. have a quick rest. Get our hit points back. And introduce ourselves to Khalid and Jahira. Yeah, you're, you're not annoying at all. Um, bye bye. Okay, to Nashkal. With ease. So, before we go s south to Baragost, I do want to uh, pay a quick visit. Oh, I, what? Oh, I must have had two of them. That's, anyway. we'll, we'll, we'll sell that later when we get to Baragost. Uh, why am I going that way? I don't need to go that way. Not yet. Um, we're going to have a go at the ogre in here. Um, using our favoured kiting Please. tactics, um, the old Sir Robin, because Hello, he has, uh -huh, yeah, he has a, a very nice girdle of piercing that I would quite like to buy. Well, not buy. Well, acquire is maybe the word I was looking for. Now, there's probably about 
30 wolves or svarts between me and him. Oh, it's a wolf. Come on, walkies. Don't be like that. Not a problem. Right. Actually, I can use him as a little helper to uh, distract. Uh, the ogre with the belt fetish down here. Ow. Go on. Be my wonderful meat shield. So I'm not going to get the XP from the death of the wolf, but... I have managed to get a fair few of uh... you saw and you probably heard me click on the other side of the you little bastard see this is why we quick save hmm? with ease It looks like my ranger has the same problem as uh, my old thief. Come on, hit him. Okay. Right, actually click and select the ground this time and hopefully gain enough distance so you can get a couple of arrows in before you get your face bashed in oh and because he's lost sight of me he's probably uh, returned back from whence he came but at least that gives me a chance to use another quick save And he better not have regained all of his goddamn health, or I will not be a happy bunny. Poor old Wolfie would have died for nothing. Near death, good. Can you be a little bit nearer death? Thanks. Right, I'm going to leave that because it's not really worth anything, and I will just keep that one. Right, quickest way out is just directly south. Might bump into another couple of wolves. Oh no, Svarts! Come on, kill him. Oh my god, it's a Svart! Can you kill him please? Thank you. Actually, there's a caravan down here with a little bit more gold in it. So, uh, oh, gibbling. Oh, disease gibbling. It's worth an extra 20 XP. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right. Have I wandered past that wrecked caravan? Ah, here we are. Do do. I'll take that, take that. That's a bastard sword, no good to me. And I don't use shields, so. There's another box down here with a bit of gold in it, I think. There we are. Okay then, Baragost. What do you need? Can you direct me to the nearest smithy? 
Thank you very much. Okay. Might be a little while before I, I get my first level. Cause I could go north of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay, there's no way through there. Is there? Can I get through here? I could go north of um, the Friendly Arm and contact Ant Hex for a little while, but I did say we're going to try and stick to the uh, just progressing the story as as kind of as quickly as we can. So, um, let's head over. Wait for loads, Garrick. Hey, Garrick. Avoid the uh, the two inns that have either assassins on or th thieves in them. Because the first thing I want to do is get a sword that's not likely to break whenever I hit something with it. It will be done. And if he has two, I will take two. What you wish done? Right, you can you can have that and that. Uh, da, da, da. Long sword, long sword plus one. He's only got the one. I'll take it. Uh, we won't worry about arrows for now. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get a little bit better in terms of. Um, yeah, I can't afford the full plate, but that, that, again, that doesn't matter, because, very soon, I'll be wearing pretty much as good as that anyway. Right. So, I just want to scoot across town to spend a little bit more of my money and um, get a nice chunk of XP for talking down a grieving father. And while I am at it, I will say hello to Firebead. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Uh -huh. With ease. That isn't. Done. It is an optional quest, but it's easy XP and it gives me a very nice. You tell him, Marl. Yeah, shut up. Um, it gives me a nice little um scroll case that can help just tidy up my inventory. Are you talking to me? Meh, 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 meh. You talking to me? Yeah. Plenty of bar for us all. Uh, yeah, I'm not a troublemaker, da 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 da, I'm not responsible for the fates, um, hmm, 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 yeah, hush, there we are, 900 XP, thank you very much, so I am going to sell, 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 and I will take a copy of that, because that's what Firebead wants. I will also take the composite longbow. And I don't need to worry about anything else. Why did I sell the antidote? Never mind. Plenty of opportunity to get some more of that later. So, cool. Right. Off to Nashkal we go. Uh, after. I give Firebead his book. With ease. Oi. Come here. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. And I got a reputation increase as well. That's nice. So, so 300 easy XP and I'm... Just over halfway to my first level. A problem. That will do nicely. And that scroll case is very useful. 
Unfortunately, I can't get the um, the jewel bag because I'd need to um, get nearer into the party, and I don't want to ruin my chances of getting the achievement. So With ease. we will give the Agrillians uh, hopefully a bit of a kicking as we fall the road down. And there is a, a letter I can hand in for another uh, ring of protection plus one, which I may not be able to may not be able to use it, but I can certainly sell it. Oh, come on. You're a ranger, for goodness sake. You're supposed to be good with a bow. Though, I guess he is um, only proficient rather than... Uh, whoa. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Of course, I am taking a risk a little bit by running into the blackness and the unknown. Oh, my good goodness sake. You know what? Have a magic missile. Always good for some cheap damage. Good grief. Now, one of the problems with playing solo with a ranger is other than missing with your bow all the time, Ian, Kill him. Oh my word. Come on. Is that you don't have any kind of native healing ability until you have progressed a little way into the story. Can you stop being rubbish? That's like 20 arrows you've used on this moppet. Thank you. Dear, oh dear. Hope, hope we get rid of the other one a little bit quicker than that. So I will initially have to do a lot of kiting um, and Sir Robining and I'm going to get through probably every health potion south of um, the friendly arm. Especially when we get into um, dungeons that contain traps and I don't have a, a fine trap skill. And no friends to actually find them for me. That That's going to make life very exciting. And by exciting, I, I mean painful. Come on. Oh. Goodness sake. He's just as bad as my useless thief. Come on. He's at range now. Hit him. What? I mean, for level one, that that's that's quite a good fuck out. I may have to... Um, Go and do that encounter with the uh, fastest dart thrower in the West. So this is um, the letter that I can give back to Miriam in uh, in Baragost. But before we do that, we have other places to be. And I want the free Ankeg plate. I serve the flaming fist. I bet you do. Uh, uh, we're not. 
I'm, I'm a bandit hunter. Mm, no, just a humble adventurer. Thank you. Bye bye. Do do do. Okay. All right. It will be done. So there's a little bit of a hobgoblin camp down here. Um that I will have to try and arrow my way through. Uh, so keep quick saving, try and aggro one at a time. And there we are. Maybe I, I should have actually bought some uh, magical arrows. I make these kind of encounters maybe a little less painful. I mean, I, I, what are you dimming? I swear the cursor glitches on this sometimes. All to put you in trouble. He's a tiny bit faster than the, the Agrillion. But not fast enough, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep on going. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. Oh, attacking people off screen. That's unusual. I'll take the arrows. Why not? Oh, little missile exchange. Oh, it, it had to happen eventually, didn't it? Come on. Do okay. Oh yes, and this is a nice little valuable amulet amulet that you can give back to uh, a distraught family. Uh, now I can't remember whether the cave with all the health potions in it is in this little section of the map or the one north of here so we may do a little bit of just wandering around this section of the map just to double check you know probably get eaten by wolves you know the drill come on but it will all be worth it when we get to Nashkal Probably. Okay. Oh, cobalt. Right. Yeah, it must be in the area north of here. 
Unless there's another bluff down here that we can uh, try and have a look in. Because it certainly doesn't appear to be up there. Oh well. Go away. Oh, more foreshadowing? Apparently so. Alright then, Nashkal. With your hurried flight from Yeah, yeah, we don't care. It's Speed one. Okay, because um, doing the Nashkel Mines at level 1 with no healer and no um, uh, thief support would be the acme of stupidity, um, I am going... Look at that armor class. Hurrah. Um, not to do that. To begin with, um, I'm going to sell all of this junk, including that, because it's not worth enough um, XP to be worth handing in at this point. It's not going to make a huge amount of difference to my to my level, um, and I'd I'd rather rather have the money. So I'll go to the store, have a chat with um, the mayor. And we're going to head west so that I can pick up um, the Tome of Charisma. Uh, but hey, uh, I won't be any trouble. Yeah, right. Um, it will be done. Welcome to my humble establishment. And hopefully, while I get that um, tome to boost my um, charisma up to 18, so I get maximum uh, boost in uh, to my reaction in stores and a good discount, with a bit of luck. I did. I did promise myself I was going to stop saying that, didn't I? Um, I should maybe be level three by the time I am. I am done um, going west. I will have to take a view as to whether I decide to do a little bit of sirene hunting. Maybe not at this point. But let's get waylaid by enemies. Oh no. And I need to just double check which area I'm in. This, I think, is the Svart camp. Um, okay, even though they are... piss-weak enemies. Um... I'm not going to do it now, uh, mainly because it's, even though it's technically not that difficult um, an encounter, um, there are a lot of them, so it's not, maybe not the best thing for me to do right now. Uh, so let's... Sort out a few wolves. Ah, uh, critical miss. Let's see what you like with these swords. Okay. 
I mean, it's only a wolf. You should be able to sort that out. Uh, <laughs> so, not terribly worried about collecting anything that's in the bear cave. Um, at the at the top of the map up here, so not certainly not enough to hack and slash my way through a through a Zvart village at level one. So let's let's just get out of here and find where we end up next. Right, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go there. And if this is the place I think it is, it will we may encounter a wrecked caravan. Mm, oh no, this is the uh, is this the Bear Woods? Bear Bridge, I think it's called. Ooh, level! Hooray! Okay, nothing. Nothing to do, just gained a few hit points, reduced my uh, base stack out. So there should be someone screaming about a polar bear down here. Mm. And there he is. Yeah, probably not such a good idea at level 1. So I will... Well, level 2 even. So I'm going to duck back to here. And try and find this caravan. Not because it, it terribly gives me... Uh, any nice bits of kit, but it is a very, very easy um, experience if I can bloody well find it. It's always a little bit further west than I, I seem to remember. If we are indeed in the right area. We ought to find out fairly soon. There we are! Uh, who's this chap? Uh, Captain of the Guard. Murdered his family. Oh, oh, that that sounds like fun. Greetings, playthings. Thou hast found me yeah. when I alone could not. Okay, so Bioware are famed for their little um, riddles, um, and this one is quite easy. Come on, let's get you back to the Temple of Helm. I can steal your sword and ID and sell it and get a huge load of um, XP for the... A very simple, very quick... Thou hast found me when I alone could not. Thousand XP, not bad for three minutes work. Intrepid adventurers at our door. So I can get that ID'd. Curse Berserking Sword. Don't have the, the proficiency for it anyway. Uh, so let's. Yep, that'll do for now. It will be done. For the glory of all. Let's have a chat with the mayor. Thank you. We will. Um, we will sort out the. Uh, the cobolds in the mine at some point very soon with ease yeah, business has been poor but with the iron shortage and all uh, 500 gold isn't terrific but 
I'll take it. Um, With ease. Actually, since we come back here and we have a bit of money, might as well drop, like, drop in on the carnival because they have a couple of very useful items that I might want to use fairly soon. Say hello to Minsk. Hey Minsk, hey Boo. And while we are at the carnival, we can have a rest and recover some hit points as well. And our special ability to be able to charm wild creatures. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Glad to meet you, friend. Oh, you now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This way, good sir. Over here. This is the tent I'm interested in. It will be done. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Oh, good. Uh, have those then. And yeah, I don't need that right now, but I will take that, and I will take that so I can see in the dark. I've still got 3k left. Uh, if we do decide to go um, basilisk hunting, I'll want to come back for that. But don't need to spend that money right now. Okay. So. We are. Pretty much kitted up for now. It will be done. I shall take a wander over to the campfire. Because... What time is it? Oh, it's early morning. But I'm still going to have a little bit of a rest because otherwise he's going to get fatigued. And give us a, a luck penalty on all of our rolls and we don't need that. So, let's find the edge of the map. Good sir, over here. Right. Let's go back here. You have been way late oh, of course I have. The only good thing about a polar bear encounter when you're waylaid is that they are initially non-hostile. So you can just run for your life, effectively. Not a problem. Right. Okay. Now, let's just scoot over here. Because there are some bandits in the woods, and I think their leader has another plus one longsword. J just take your time, Ian. It's fine. Okay. Worthless, not picking it up. Can't be bothered. You know, I don't need five gold that badly. Right. Where, where's this guy? Anyone who knows the... Uh, over of Michael Mann will recognize that quote. The very wonderful Bill Finkner as uh, 
Roger Van Zandt. Uh, oh yeah, it's north. Next to the second bridge. There you are. Y yeah, I've I've clocked your men, dudes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, uh Let's get a cheap shot with that in. Can you hit him with your bow? I don't know. Hmm. Now, because he has a a magical longsword, uh, I'm not going to be able to outrun him, am I? Am I going to be able to use the quick step? Ah, uh, not really. Okay. Let's just go go for him in melee then, and pray for rain. It's like that scene in Revenge of the Sith, isn't it? Where Anakin and Obi-Wan are just standing in, in front of each other, waving their swords at each other and not hitting anything. That is the most ridiculous thing, in probably, in that entire film. Hey! I'll take the bandit scalp. I will take the other sword that isn't going to break. And now I, I, I have um, good kibble making machines. Ha -ha. It's always good to get a decent set of plus one weapons early in the game. Do do do. Right. So, I will eek in, nice and gently. Try not to aggro too many on ones. And fail miserably and have to blap them with a fireball. Easy come, easy go, huh? Okay, it's going to be about another two, three thousand gold before I can um, recharge my necklace of missiles. Uh -huh, uh -uh. Right, how are we doing on the old XP front? Pretty well. In that case, we will... Oh, yes, there's a pretty nasty encounter on the bridge on the top bridge which I think we will try and do may involve a little bit more fireball because they're worth plenty of XP no don't just stand there when I click the ground I mean, you gotta catch me first fatso At level 2, not such a great idea to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a big, huge, fecking ogre berserker. So, give him the run around. No, 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 no. You muppet. Come on. Turn around, give me a snapshot. And miss, obviously. I decided to do this speed run with a ranger. So he will be a little bit less rubbish in combat. And any chance you can get with the program a little bit? No, just, just stand there and do nothing. It's fine. Oh my god, I've only taken one of his little health bars. Oof. 
I'm beginning to get a little bit annoyed with my mouse not registering clicks. Whether it's the game or whether it's a, just a dirty micro switch, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm still getting hacked off with it. And it doesn't help when you keep missing. Oh, that's better. Come on. Because he's not an animal. I can't charm him. Mm, grief. There's another one of these on the bridge as well. So regrettably, this is this is what it is kind of like for the first three or four levels. Um, even with what's supposed to be a fairly decent combat class. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. The squirrels never have anything to say. Which is a bit disappointing really. Another critical hit would be quite nice, you know. Or just a hit? Yeah, any any time today? Oh my lord. It's at times like this when you really wish you had a... Those boots of speed. Come on. Oh. Don't aggro the bear. Don't aggro the bear. The situation is bad enough as it is. Don't don't need to do things like that. Ah, haha. -ha. Yeah, worth a few pennies, but um, no, no, it's not it's not worth the encumbrance. Where is that? That that is worth a uh, a slot. Let's okay. Level up time. So we definitely need a bit more skill in our longbow, don't we? And I don't know whether we... Did we improve? Yes, again, we did. Right. Level 3. And where's the bridge? There's the bridge. And this time we're going to just nuke the buggers with a missile. I'll grab some arrows as well, because... Yeah. We're not in danger of running out anytime soon, but... Right, Hobgoblin Elite, equipped with poisonous missiles. Or poisonous arrows. So, um, we're not gonna... we're not gonna let you launch any. Oh, okay. So that's two down and one made its save, so Oh Uh do I have a no, I, I'm wearing a necklace, so not worth enough. Uh actually I'm I'm really not gonna bother collecting the gems or anything like that. They they Without the gem bag, they just clog up your inventory so badly. So, just take the good stuff. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there's my other ogre berserker. Can you hit him a bit better this time? I 
I'll take that as a no. Backward. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid you're going to have to uh, imagine the uh, the Benny Hill music as we kite him around the block, waste the arrows. I mean, to be fair, he is he is worth 650 XP. So... Which is, though, is like almost an eighth of the way to our next level, so... Oh, good grief. I'm really glad I spent that three and a half thousand gold on uh, a composite longbow plus one. I really don't want to use the oil of speed. So I know these are technically optional encounters um, that I just wasted the last 20 minutes on. But all experience is good experience, right? And we have gained a, a free longsword plus one out of it, so... Oh, a spell. Let's have a quick tidy up of the event tree and right let's get to the other side of the bridge because there's quite a nice little encounter there as well where we can uh, use our long swords to uh, practice hitting low level enemies Yeah, 3,350. That's okay. Might be able to knock off a little bit of that by uh, saying hello to uh, our friend Laurel here. Yeah, let's, let's sort some jibblings out. Here they come. All right. What I'm actually going to do is we'll help sort out this side first and then make sure our paladin friend doesn't take too much damage. As before, not terribly interested in the gemstones, because without the gem bag they just take up too much room. S steal that kill. And the XP. Excellent. Yes, friend? Okay. Yeah, go. Uh, 
So that was almost 500 XP all told. Not bad at all. Uh, this ogre is busy digesting, so we, we won't interrupt him. Instead, let's just have a quick look at the world map. And we need to actually head south from here. So what we shall do is head to the bottom of the map, sort out this poor um, polar bear, and then head to the little knoll stronghold. Um, What's that? A wild dog. Okay. Ah, there's our friend, the polar bear. And let's see if he's going to make us do our Leonardo DiCaprio impression. And have us turned into a punch bag. Very nice critical hit. Well done, Ian. That means he's going to get three critical misses in a row now. I'm sure you uh, gathered that already. Okay, it wasn't a critical. I don't really want him to get close enough for me to be able to use my charm animal skill. What did I say? I hate being right all the time. If only my predictions for the lottery numbers were this accurate. Might as well reveal some of the map while uh, we're running away. And... I think we lost him. Which means that he's almost certainly gone down to the other end of the map. Yeah. He's, he's gotten a bit lost, hasn't he? Okay, Mr. Bear, where have you gone? There you are. Okay, almost there. I think he's worth 650 as well. Dude, come on.
I mean, you would think it would be easier to hit a polar bear from 20 feet with a with a bow. What's it called? Performance anxiety. There we go. 900. Excellent. All right. And. Now, I am fairly sure that in the original version of uh, the game, when you completed this quest, you got a pair of boots that was able to protect you from cold. Um, the last couple of times I've, I've done it, I've only ever been rewarded, and I use that term advisedly, um, with kind of like 50 gold or something which is not terribly impressive is it it's like considering he said oh, I'll give you anything mm. I should run you through um, what if I say no okay hmm. making good progress to level 4 though So if you um, do pick up Minsk in Nashkal, this is where you need to bring him. You have been of course I have. Uh, 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 um. <laughs> now technically wargs shouldn't be that tough. Oh, okay, right. But running away from two simultaneously is going to be a bit on the tricky side. Um, and even though I do have my girdle of piercing on, would you trust him in melee? Well, let's find out, huh? I'm not, not going to jinx it. Well, that went better than I expected. I didn't even need to use my um, charm animal. Yeah, we'll, we'll call that a result. Right. So there are a grillions or half ogres on the other side of this bridge who uh Oh, that's that's a that's a novelty. Excellent. Um norm how uh, normally you get interrupted by gnolls uh when you rest, but I I I shall take that. Um So the on the other side of this bridge, you've got the Knoll Stronghold here. There's a, a few cave systems down here that are full of Zvarts, and one of them has a carrion crawler in it, which has the nasty um, habit of casting whole person and then eating your face. So we probably won't disturb him, because um, I don't have any potions of free action. But what we will do is we will lay a fireball down me hungry. on these two because they're going to try and extort us to go over the bridge and I want the um, braces of dexterity that one of them has so there we go there are the braces or the gauntlets don't do me any good because I already have the uh, the 18 dex dexterity but ah cold resistance hill giant strength and a crappy jewel we all ignore that but yeah um i will wear them anyway even though they don't actually enhance anything just to 
save the space in the in the inventory. Right. Part one of two in this area accomplished. And mm, we uh, I maybe won't get the next level. But we we shall see about that, won't we? I'm hoping that we spend rather less time running away from Zvarts in this area than I did with um, my Thief solo run. So there are three caves. Oh, only one of them has any items of note in there. Um, but if you want to chop up some Zvarts, then maybe grab a, a few gold pieces. This is not such a bad place to go. This is not the cave with the um, carrion crawler in. In case you were wondering. You got hit by a Zvart. Amen. Your revenge shall be swift. And merciless. So, yeah, nothing in here. But can be um, a place where you can rest in relative safety. With ease. So we 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 won't really take on the carrion crawler, but what we will do is we're going to get that um, nice tome that will boost our charisma. Come on then. Yeah, because my little power ranger here evidently isn't quite godlike enough. Okay, so that's the one with the carrion crawler in. And this is... has a handful of Zvarts in it. Be interesting to see if they pop up any nice randomized loot, but mm. magic missile. But otherwise, nothing terribly spectacular. And that's a friend's scroll. Aha. Uh -huh. So, bit of cash, couple of spells few potions and a nice tome which we can't use quite yet because it's not been identified so we will have to go back to Nashgal where we'll get all this identified I'll sell them and then use that and how am I doing for XP yeah, still a thousand to go to my next level, so I'm not going to go through the Null Stronghold. Um, so we will maybe just swing by um, another area or two to... gain that next level because it would be quite good to be level 4 before um, heading down to the mines
Mm -hmm. So there are probably a couple more Zvarts down there who really aren't worth your time. What is that? Oh, it's another Zvart. It's just in shadow. Link's Eye Gem, again, not really worth the inventory space. And... Yeah, so let's go to the top of the map um, before we transit out the area, because there are a few more enemies up here. Null Elites, for the most part who um, are not that tough. That was tempting fate, wasn't it? They're... Come on, Obi-Wan, hit him. All that trouble for 65 XP. Do we have any more? Oh, perhaps not. Okay, so... Uh, let's go back... there. Yeah. And let's try and um, s scoop up a little bit more trouble. Okay, so the area north of here is called um, Sea Watch or the Lighthouse, and it's a fairly high-level area. Um, quite dangerous for a solo run because the sirens in there can. Do the old dire charm and mind control you. Um, and since I use my potion of clarity, fighting tarnish, um, it's probably not such a good idea to go there. And the only big reason to go there is because there's a um, another one of these little these little tomes that boost your statistics. Uh, Alright, so this is the... the area with the excavation. I'll have to add that to my list of bonus features for the uh, going mostly solo run because we, we skipped it. Um, again, not maybe not such a good idea when you're just got a single character because you end up uh, tasling. Yeah. yeah, you you end up fighting quite a few people at once. Oh, hello. Yeah, whatever. Hey, guess what? I have fireballs. And now I have um Plus two arrows of fire, which I'm going to shove down your throat. Possibly. So, 
see crime doesn't pay. And I will take that and, and sell it, I think. Yeah, and I'll have those as well. Right. Um, hmm. Just trying to think of where those braces of plus two with missile weapons are. Oh, another Tesla. Yeah, you're 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 too good for fire arrows. And you're carrying rubbish. Do, 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 do. Uh, mm, yeah, halfway there. You see, Harrison, my solo thief, would not have been able to do that. He, he would have missed with his first two arrows and then spent half the evening running around the map. Oh, Knowles! Oh, please tell me this isn't the... Okay, I think that that's the one with the Null Chieftain where there's like 10 of them. So, yeah, when if we're. Even though that would put us over our next level, it's a really tiresome encounter. So, let's, let, let, let's avoid that. Yeah. He doesn't even have any nice loot. So, in case you're wondering, the excavation is in there. Um, I think... Yeah, I want to go there. Because there's a, a nice set of boots. Um... Mm. Oh, no, let's go there instead. Since since it's a new area, um, there might be a, a couple of nice quests in here. With ease. That can be done relatively easily. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Another dog. Let's hope it's not a Call of Duty dog. Critical hit. Woo! <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my bearings and see if there are any uh, caves in here we can raid. Yes. Oh, more knolls. Not a problem. Where are we? I don't recognise the map we're in. Hmm. 
Hmm. This might be the fisherman's lake. I don't know. Just have to keep looking until I find a, a landmark or an encounter I know. Only 300 XP to the next level, though. That's good. I mean, if you were feeling really brave and were more concerned about the uh, really rapidly gaining experience and levels rather than, you know, getting all of the, you know, the good items and uh, armor and weapons, you, after hitting the Nashgal Carnival, you could have gone straight to, um, oh, it's it's Drizzit. Let's let's go and help out a fellow ranger. <laughs> we will not stand aside to battle and victory. That's a good question to see how many we'll actually be able to kill. before Driz knocks them all off. Oh my goodness, even Drizzit can make a critical miss every now and again. Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. Chatter is fine, but I have places I'd rather be. Mm -hmm. Yes, Icewind Dale. It's a bit chilly. Uh, do, do, do. Um, hmm. Yes, have a nice trip. You're walking in the wrong direction. Icewind Dale's to the north. Right, is that silver? Yeah, garbage. Right. Yes. So this is indeed the uh, the fisherman's lake. Uh, so there are a few little um, half ogres. Um, you can kill in here for a little side quest. Since and since we're going back to Baragost anyway, to get the um, the tome identified. We'll have to do that probably at the temple. All right. So there's the lake. You can have a chat with the fishermen. They don't have anything terribly interesting to say. But there are... Uh, there's a little group of bandits who have some nice gear to the east of the lake. And we will invest the fireball or five to knock them off. So, hello Mr. Fisherman, that's a ruined abandoned house that you can't really do anything with. And let's see if we can find... Oh, it's a, that's a skeleton. No point attacking it with uh, arrows. So just get in there and sort it out with magical melee weapons. Right, I will pop the fire arrows on because half ogres are relatively, relatively tough. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Right, can you sort him out in melee? 
Excellent. Right. Oh, and I've leveled. Even better. Alright. Sort this dude out. I know they were free, but they're still expensive. I could probably take him in melee, but... Oh, for the... Eleven! Back out of eleven! You can't even get into the top range of your rolls, for God's sake. I mean, we've only got two of them left. It shouldn't take eight fire arrows to sort out a couple of half ogres. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, let, let's put that level on. Right, another one from the Thakau and a few more hit points. Um, hmm, okay. <laughs> so with a bit of I almost said it I almost said it again Ian stop doing that that's another half ogre let's and of course you you missed because you're Because obviously when we reduce our Thakau, we, we, we're, we're less likely to hit, aren't we? Is that a pearl? Hmm, what's that gem? Don't think it's worth enough to be bothered picking up. Oh, you can hit with the normal arrows. Alright. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the the bandits are around here. So I actually want to come at them from the south. Because then it's a lot easier to kill the spellcaster with fireball. So I don't think that the gear they have is spectacular. Is that a flind? Oh no, it's just a null. That's okay. Um, but there's. Enough experience in the encounter to be worth worth doing. And once I have upped my charisma, oh, oh more nolls! Oh, it's a slasher. <laughs> Sorry, old habits die hard. It's like have to, have to get rid of the. Fog of undiscovered country. Oh, hello there. Uh, mm. Oh, you can actually... So you definitely need healing now. <sighs> okay, so let's try and sneak up on these guys. Right. 
So he doesn't kick off the encounter. So that leaves me with the option of spamming a fireball. And... Ooh, right. So Zcar was the... that guy. Jembi. I am not sure whether he or she is the spellcaster or the friend. So let's let's just get a bit closer. That's the spellcaster down. That's really, really good. Um, oh, shut up, you muppet. So, I th has he got a Warhammer plus one, I think? Pretty good, but... And he has... Oh, no, it's, it's just the mace. Um, what's my... Oh, okay. You've, you've got, like amazing strength. Encumbrance is not really an issue. Okay, cool. Uh, and let's just see if there's anyone else who needs killing up here. Take that. I will grab that as well. So this is all good gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's everyone there. We'll go to the Red Canyons later. You have been by and, and it's a ghast! No problem. Yeah, so... Even though he's slow and worth 650 hit, uh, XP, I'm not going to bother fighting him. It when I can... It will be done. There he is. He'll be very pleased yes. to hear that I've uh, sorted out the half ogres. Yes. I have. I well, I've killed them. Yeah, what what are you talking about? The vigilant one knows of all your sins. Uh, maybe that's one we missed. Oh well. Uh, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um well, that's disappointing. I thought we'd um, sorted that one out. Okay, so let us just pop over to Temple. With ease. And get a few things identified. With ease. Welcome! The travelling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothander. So, Tome of Leadership and Influence raises charisma. Thank you very much. Um, rubber fire resistance, not worth a huge amount of money, but, yeah. We should make a profit on the uh, identification cost anyway. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, I want to. Well, we might as well identify everything, because... Why the heck not? Don't touch me. I'm super important. Uh, 
There we go. And so Elspain, Girdler Piercing. Very nice versus missiles. Should come in handy versus the kobolds. Another long sword plus one. That's our ring of protection. And those are the brawling hands that if you give them to Minsk, very good for boosting his armor class. That can go in there. And use it. So if we just take a look. 17 charisma. Charming bugger. Reaction of plus five. Very, very nice indeed. And we'll improve even more as we um, improve our reputation. Uh, that can go back there. And yeah, let's let, let's tidy our inventory a little bit. With ease. Not a problem. Not a problem. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Sorry. Very, very nice chunk of cash. Didn't make that much on the rope. I can't sell any of that stuff in here, so um, before we it will be done. Oh, oh. Where are you? There we are. If you remember that letter. She was its intended recipient. Salutations. Um. Oh, we sold it. That was clever. It's down in Nashkel, isn't it? How embarrassing. Oh well. It's okay. I, I don't need another one of these anyway. I can't, I can't use two. Um, mm -mm. Um, right. Just want to be careful not to trigger the encounter with um, Nera. We will forget about Burke. Um, a Gurk, even. No? No, that's the cloak. Um, there's a dwarf in here. I think he's called uh, Zukov or something. And he, he has some very nice uh, boots that increase your um, ability to hide in shadows and sneak around. Um, and they're on be done. Um, a pair. Let's try that sentence again. Uh, you can find the pair of boots um, who've been snaffled by a hobgoblin. You want um, some but since I'm not actually... Um, since I'm not actually um, using armor that allows me to use my stealth skill as a ranger... Um, there's not much point, really. Either taking the quest or trying to find the boots. So, um, it wasn't here where I sold it, was it? No. 
don't think so. So, if you do kill all the half ogres, um, Bjorn in that paladin will will give you um, a medium shield plus one, which is another nice chunk of chunk of money. Right, let's have a quick rest. And five fireballs should be enough to take us through um, through the Rashkal mines. It will be done. I'm not sure about seven health potions though. We may have to do rather a lot more healing. We shall see, won't we? Um, but I think we will probably save that, the actual mines themselves, for the next video because um, it's in in the real world. It's clocking on for nearly midnight where I am, so we probably want to wrap the video up fairly quickly. But there is still a couple of very quick things we can do um, that will net us a little bit of money so in the nook of this tree there's a little wonder frost which unfortunately I cannot use There are a few wild dogs in this uh, warehouse we can clean out. Ah, they're not wild dogs, they're war dogs. So the, these are your Call of Duty four dogs that go straight for your throat. Equivalent amount of experience to one of those null slashes we were dealing with earlier. Um, so this warehouse is absolutely identical to the... Um, one in candle keep only it has a a little bit more money in it and uh, a nice potion of healing which will certainly come in handy when we set off all the traps With ease. <laughs> right okay there's one final encounter in here that i would like to do before we head to the mine and that is to pay a visit to Prism the local artist who is sculpting the face of the Queen of the Elves into a rock face which is down here somewhere and uh, he is um, a little bit under threat from a chap called Grey Wolf, who is a very good fighter and has a plus two longsword, which I want, and I'm gonna have to kill him to get it. So, yeah, not really worth a fireball, and I can't use that on him. And it's a shame that there are no wild dogs or war dogs around that I can actually charm to. You know, uses a meat shield. If I wandered around enough, maybe maybe I could get one, but we'll just have to take our chances and hopefully uh, not end up wandering into um, an encounter with half a dozen cobble commandos or something. Okay, so it looks like we'll have to do it the hard way on our own. And it's time for us to be a little bit of a patron of the arts. Oh, Hello, mate. Beauteous creature. You are my masterpiece. Yeah, 
So he's 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 stolen some emeralds and Grey Wolf has been tasked to get them back. Um and you know, he's just basically kill anything in the way. So we will be his bodyguard. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Uh huh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let him let him finish. And have a yeah. Okay. Quick save. Oh, that wasn't part of the plan, was it? Well, you know, it's a bit too bad, isn't it? Oh, no, he's going to run off with the diamonds and the sword. Oi, come here. Yeah, okay. A quick step through the quantum foam. And uh, try that again. With any... Okay, good. He's decided that I am... Uh, more of a threat. Ideally, I would like not to have to use the potion the oil of speed no no stop doing that he's only wearing studded it's it's that obi-wan and anakin critical miss contest again isn't it I mean, it is a bit worrying when he takes 18 damage and it only... Phew. Okay. Um, that's interesting. He had the emeralds. Before, actually... Uh, okay, I'm not going to question it. Let's... Um... Oh. So he... oh, well, never mind. That's fascinating. Okay, well. Um, I'm not going into the mines in this state, as you might think. Um, well, in, in the interests of not doing things off, off camera, um, I will just run the video on a little bit longer um, just to show you the uh, the outcome of uh, the identification of these two things and, and sell those off. I may even recharge my um, my little necklace there, since I ought to have enough cash. And how's the old XP doing? Yeah, quite a long way to go. Probably won't get it in the mines. But we ought to be able to... Uh, go through there without too much trouble, other than losing a load of hit points to traps. Uh-huh. So, I'll have a chat with him. 
No, I'm not Grey Wolf. Give me a uh, reputation increase. Thank you very much. And rather than rest or anything, I will get healed here. Helm, watch over thee upon thy quest. After I get these two guys. Identified. Hoorah. So. That was the one that was free. I can sell that. And I will. Might as well. Sell these. Make sure I can get that recharged. Which I. Mm, probably won't be able to do. At. It will be done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I will go back and, f and finish the video at the Temple Helm because I'm going to want to top up on my potions of healing. It will be done. Yeah, business has been poor but with the iron Sorry. shortage and all. Bonza. Another 2k. And let's... Did, did we sell the... Where on earth did we sell that note? Hmm. Well, that's that's a mystery we'll we'll have to look at later. But beyond that, we're we're actually doing quite well for money. I don't think he will recharge this. The customer is always right. And. That Oh, he will. Right. Uh, before we take the risk on selling it, I will do a quick save. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. Because why have five fireballs? Oh, that's okay. When you can have 25. Haha. Okay, now we are... Now we are rocking, aren't we? We just... We could just do with those really nice gauntlets, couldn't we? But we will um, save that for another time. With ease. So let's just have a quick jaunt back to the temple. Buy a few more Not health potions. Watch over thee upon thy quest. And okay. Do do. How many do we want? Just keep an eye on the cash. Yeah, that will do. And we'll just grab a couple. Yeah. Four of those ought to do. Actually, let, uh, one more for luck. And Helm, watch over thee upon thy quest. Let's get some wounds healed. Right, how? Mm. Yeah, 11 short, so a cure light wounds won't do it. Good as new. Right then. So that's a couple of hours. Um, and we're ready for the mines. We are level four. We are kitted up pretty much as as well as we could hope for at this point, actually. Um, and I guess the only thing that we're we're really short of are 
some better arrows um which will buy on the on the way back through Beragost to um help us disrupt spellcasters for you know when when we go and try and take down the bandit camp and cloakwood so yeah we will we will call it there um and we will pick up exactly where we left off next time and i i, I hope you enjoyed watching uh a character who was a little bit better in combat than my um, useless thief from my previous um, Baldur's Gate solo series. And I will look forward to seeing you next time. Ta-ta for now.